Well, good morning. This is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred. Really glad you could join me this morning. It's a beautiful day here in Pennsylvania. Well, anyhow, I wanted to share with you today some tips and ideas on how you can plant Hungarian hot wax pepper transplants in your vegetable garden. So thanks for joining me today. So follow me along and I'm going to show you where I'm going to plant these. So let's walk down this aisle here. I'm going to be planting these peppers in the back section over there. It's kind of wet here in this section so I have this plank that I used across while the soil's wet. And so, I'm going to be planting these peppers right here along the side of this four foot by eight foot raised garden bed. I have some red beets that I'm planting on that side and along the edge I have about, you know, 16 inches or more where I'm going to be planting these peppers. So it should work out really nice. So I have here a market pack of six of these peppers. I ended up getting them for from Ray's Nursery nearby. It's, they were under two dollars. But you know they always come with a little handy label and they do have some helpful information on here. It says here these are Hungarian hot wax peppers. They mature in 65 days and the fruit size is four to six inches. My wife and I love using these in like in our chili or I make a big pot of beans every week and uh, you know they're great in salads. They're kind of like a, a banana pepper, the shape of them. And so it says here they produce high yields of waxy yellow fruit which turns deep red at maturity. And you know they like well uh, drained soil, nice and fertile, nice and loose. And you know I'm going to be planting these in my composted leaf mulch amended with topsoil. And then I also work some alfalfa pellets in my soil you know early in the season and I work through the soil with my garden fork and you know it never hurts to take your the uh, plant out of the market pack and just to inspect the roots you know make sure they're not they haven't been in the market pack too long and that they're root bound you know if they're root bound it may take a little bit while longer for them to get their feet established in the soil so anyhow let's start planting these in the ground so before I start planting these pepper plants, I'm going to get my garden fork and just work down the, the row here where I'm going to be planting these just to make sure the soil is nice and loose. And this, these forks are about 12 inches deep, so you want them to go in nice and deep. And it never hurts to rock the, the uh, fork back and forth, loosen that soil up real nice. And I no longer use a, a, a gas powered tiller anymore since I have raised beds. And it's just been nice using the, the fork here. It's also a great exercise. And then it never hurts to turn the fork the other direction and work it back and forth. So you just want to work th through your soil, loosening, loosening it up, because the more the roots spread far and wide, the more nutrients they're going to absorb, resulting in a, you know, a larger, stronger, healthier plant. So once you work your fork through the soil, I just take the back side of my fork and run it down the row and level it off nice. So now we're pretty much ready to plant these peppers. So I'm, I have here a seven foot pole here. I'm just gonna lay this in the soil and rock it back and forth. I'm gonna come about six inches back off the edge of the 
raised bed. And that way that'll just mark a nice row for me. I mean, you could eyeball it because this isn't rocket science. And uh, so you're simply gonna just take the, take each plant out of your, out of the, the cell pack here. And I'm just gonna use my hand. You can also use a trowel, but you know, since I just loosened the soil up, they should be nice and loose. I'm actually gonna take them out here and lay them on the soil so I can just get an idea of just how to space these out. I may be planting these a little closer than recommended, but they should still be fine. I would say they're gonna be about 15 inches apart. I could use my measuring tape, but again, eyeballing it is fine. So, so I'm gonna just start here in the end and just start putting them in the soil. Planting's actually the easy part of gardening. And I like to just take my four fingers and press down around the ball of the plant once it's in the ground. Level it off nice. And again, pepper plants are something, you know, you want to make sure they have a good six to eight hours of full sun. The more sun, the better. And these plants really do well in my composted leaf mulch. And like I said, I do amend the, the, the uh, compost with my alfalfa pellets. And sometimes I use soy meal like on my greens because they like a lot of nitrogen. And the soy meal is higher in nitrogen content. So anyhow, you just want to make sure you water them in good. And keep an eye on them. You know, if it gets real hot, you may want to water these a couple times a week. You know, because raised beds, you know, they are great for a lot, in a lot of ways, but being they're raised off the ground some, it means they will also dry out a little quicker. You know, same with like, if you plant in containers. So anyhow, these are uh, all, all in the ground. It's something very easy to do. You know, you, if you're limited in, with backyard space and you know, you could also grow these in containers. If you have a deck or a balcony, and you just want to make sure you have a good six to eight hours of sun for these. And it wouldn't hurt to fertilize these maybe once a month once they get their, their feet in the ground. So anyhow, I just uh, want to thank you for joining me today out here in the vegetable garden. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the section below. So I hope you have a great day. So until next time, this is Plant Smart Living with Farmer Fred.